Hey friends, we have a rainy day here in North Carolina, but we've got critters that need tending to. So come hang out with us while we enjoy the coziness of a rainy summer day, but also get all of these baby chicks and turkeys and the Great Pyrenees, get everybody all taken care of. Good boy. Say come on, boys. Good boys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something sparking over there. Come on, boys. All right, boys. You ready to come protect your chickens and your turkeys? Yep, they're their chickens and turkeys to take care of. <laughs> Good boys.
Good boy, Theodore. Oh, yeah, just did. Look how they're getting up in the tree stuff. Why is there a little bunny up in there? Who's the archives over? Four or five. to our day it has been rainy like crazy um, it's been so much cooler though and still beautiful we have like the house open enjoying the cozy day but still needing to get a few things done the kids are doing their co-op classes and having a great time I'm so excited Friday I will share with you the fun clubs we have coming out in July which I'm really excited and I think your kids will really enjoy as well so be sure to turn on those bell notifications you can also sign up for our monthly newsletter down in the description to get all those updates when
when they come out. So super duper excited. Um, an update on my poison ivy situation. It is actually getting better. The bleach is kind of like a miracle treatment and it is, this is the, the actual better option um, than what I did look like. Um, oh, hold on, puppy being bad. Teddy, no sir. out of the corner of my eye and I just saw Theodore running away with my vacuum bag. Um, let's maybe not eat that. So had to get up this morning. Kids are doing co-op. It's rainy and cozy, but we still had some things we needed to get done. We've got 20 baby chicks and two little turkeys that are currently in the basement in a brooder box. Um, we're just waiting for them to finish feathering out so that way they can regulate their temperatures, do all that they need to do. They're like this close. They're getting so big and they will be ready here soon. Hi, Thaddeus. They will be ready here soon to go down to the barn with the Great Pyrenees that we just got. So if you guys missed last week's video introducing the whole coyote problem, Great Pyrenees solution that we have going on, you guys can go and watch that. But we're getting our barn kind of cleaned up so that we have a space down there to keep the Great Pyrenees, to keep the chickens, raising the chickens to sell as laying hens and just sell eggs at the farmer's market and things like that, looking for ways that we can utilize the space that we currently have to um, support the family and the ministry and all the things that we prayerfully will get to continue to do. And so um, we're getting the barn set up for them, waiting for the chickens to feather out so that way we can get them moved down there. Um, we free range our chickens, which we've always done. Those of you who have been with us for a while, you know, we used to have a huge flock of like 30 some odd chickens and our big old turkey that we love so much. And then we started having predator problems and we tried many different things to combat that and none of them worked. And we lost all but two chickens, which we still have, um, Ellie and Chocolate, who are still roaming around the property. Um, but we love free ranging our birds. I love the just quality of life it gives the birds. I love the quality of eggs they're able to produce. Um, and it's very just frugal. It's very pocketbook friendly. Um, uh, I just got a message, sorry. Uh, pocketbook friendly to be able to let them go out and forage and roam around. And so we've always wanted to get more and kind of rebuild up that flock, but not until the predator problem was addressed because otherwise there's no point. We're just serving a buffet for predators. So now that we have Thaddeus and Theodore, um, we went ahead and got some new uh, chicks and a couple new turkeys. And even a good friend and my mom are like, ooh, if I buy some, can I just keep them at your house and you'll just give me the eggs? And I was like, of course, of course you can do that. So hopefully the flock will even be expanding a little more here soon, which of course we will share with you guys. Um, but we had to get them out. Brooder box needed to be cleaned, um, get the puppies out. We are doing um, just some boundary training with them. They're doing really, really well so far. I cannot believe everybody says just how smart great Pyrenees are. These dogs are amazing. Um, they're doing so great learning their commands that we want them to respond to, um, working with them to get them to kind of understand the boundary of the property and where we want them going, where we don't want them going. Um, so they're doing really great. And every day, even though it's a little rainy out, we kind of have a pause right now. So we're trying to get them out and just let them kind of run around the property and understand where we want them to be patrolling and keeping watch. So they're doing great. Hi, Mr. Gold. Um, and so now the cats are out here with me. We've got a little break. So all the animals are like, yes, we can get outside for a minute. So we got all of them taken care of. And then something that unfortunately the guys are all chomping at the bit to get to this and they're not going to be able to do it today because of how much rain we've gotten. But we were gifted an amazing surprise yesterday. And it has all the men in my house, my husband, my son, and my brother over the moon excited. Oh, I Show them everybody. <laughs> 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 
a zero turn mower so for those of you maybe who already have cool stuff like that you're like i don't get what's so important okay we moved to this property mind you let's just back this up my husband and i and my brother like all of us we're from southern california we are from the desert palm springs joshua tree there in the middle that's us like that's where we're from <laughs> we're used to dirt we're used to i mean we don't have mowers we don't have weed eaters we don't have things like that we rake our dirt and that's how we would you know fancy up our yard so we come out here whole new world and we're like oh my gosh getting to learn to use all these things and whatever so then we we've always had like little push mowers because we've just ever always had small yards we get up here where we have eight acres we've pretty much push mowed it all eight acres the entire time um until my husband got really injured he could not like he physically cannot do it anymore um my grandfather did have an older riding mower that he um we had bought off of him and used for a while and it was a huge blessing it was so amazing but it only lasted so long. Um, I think it was really a, a big change from it, even though we had it serviced and we did all of the things. I think all those years being out in the dry, hot desert to then coming out here, there were certain things that it just eventually, it, it had run its due course and, and that was that. And so we appreciated that and we've tried to do other things, but basically we've just had to push mow eight acres across the board and it is a lot of work our son is out here uh, my husband physically cannot do it he tries to and then he has to pay for it and our chiropractor is always getting on him for like you cannot do that um but he tries to get out here and so then our son is out here and he push mows every single day he has a very set schedule they're so loud in there he has a very set schedule that he has to push mow every day to be able to keep up with eight acres of property and so this past weekend we had everybody here for graduation having a wonderful time and apparently this conversation had been happening behind the scenes for a little while but my grandfather who I love so much he has this zero turn mower which we've always kind of laughed because he has a much smaller yard my mom and then they have a much smaller mowing space just with how their property is laid out and we have these big huge open fields and so we've always been like oh my gosh you guys have these amazing zero turns we, can we just borrow it for a day unfortunately they live like an hour and a half away and it's a big mountain road and so it's it's not as easy as it would seem to just like borrow it for a day but here we have these big huge open fields that we have to push mow and they have you know smaller spaces with the zero turn and so we've always said man like there's some way we could just borrow this you know there's not really not an efficient way to do it but it would be great and so when my grandpa was here and they were all talking and whatever my grandpa was going to purchase a new mower that better suits his yard and so he gifted us his zero turn this thing is like nearly new it's amazing it's got this huge cutting deck and everything else which is going to make keeping up on this property amazing I mean it's just gonna make it a breeze and it was so sweet because my mom called me and she said that you know grandpa had this and he wanted to gift it and they wanted to gift it to us and the whole thing and she goes but I really want this to be our investment into you guys and what you're doing because we believe in it so much and we know you guys will do it and you'll do a great job it's okay Jerry boy and we want this to be our contribution and I just thought that was so amazing and so sweet 
the mail came. That was the first time the boys have been out just like roaming when somebody showed up and they did so great. But um, a package from Timu. <laughs> See, I'm so excited. I'm loving Timu. There have been a few things that we've had on our list that we'd really like to have in the house and I just haven't had the money to really spend on it. And so getting them at such a great deal has been like, hmm, I can go ahead and do this now. So. I'm excited <laughs> to open this up. I got one of those rechargeable like auto like scrub brushes for household cleaning. I've wanted one for so long and I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. Um, hi, Thaddeus. Hi, buddy. And then I got a, um, a glass. So anyway, super exciting. Yes, hello, I'm so happy to see you too. Um, so they brought us this zero turn and I'm just so thankful, you know, I don't know what the future holds. I, you know, I don't know, but having this tool, this resource that, you know, I mean, it literally just opens up so much time. We, we have so many projects around the property that we would like to get to. We would like to get done. If we're going to do this, right, we need to be able to do these things. And when you're spending hours upon hours a day push mowing, right? It just eats up so much of that time. And even our poor son, he comes out here and he does it every day, but it, and he's happy to do it. He loves doing it. It's not that he doesn't, but then it's like, you have other things you want to get to and he's worn out. Like he's kind of tapped. And so it just kind of makes it difficult. So thank you, grandpa. Thank you, mom and, and papa. It was so great to just have them, um, want to gift that to us because they just believe in all of it so much and having a, a good tool you know the guys were out there yesterday when we got it we all kind of tried it in the videos right and got to you know figure out how to use it none of us have ever used one before and then um the guys were out here for so long mowing and they had a wonderful time like our whole front field's done the back the bottom field they did a bunch over there they were all enjoying it and then today my husband gets up and he's like you think it's dry enough for me to get out and you know get the zero turn out because we have rain in the forecast all this week. And he, we, as soon as he said that, I kid you not, it's like the skies just opened and started downpouring. And I was like, honey, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. So we have this little break right now and I'm fairly certain they're all in the house like itching, like, oh, I wonder if it's gonna stay dry long enough that we can get out there. So um, I think our yard's gonna be looking quite amazing, <laughs> which is just fantastic. So anyways, everything is going great. Getting stuff done. Chickens are clean. Dogs are out roaming around. Hey, love. We're going to get in and move on to the next of our co-op classes. We have to do again, you guys. Sign up for that newsletter. Check us out on Friday here. I'll share a video updating you on these amazing like clubs we're doing for the kids next month. It's going to be a blast. And so um, I've got some kind of computer work and stuff to get to after that. But we figure we take a few minutes while it's dry-ish outside to come out and enjoy, take care of some chores, take care of all of the critters, and uh, have a little bit of time together before we're all back in the house with a rainy, cozy day. So thanks for hanging out with us today. I will see you all right back here tomorrow in our next video. I think you guys should check out this one if you want a little something else to watch. Ignore my ugly arm from Poison Ivy, and we will see you all then. Bye, guys. Bye, friends.